What's going on guys, Matt here with CarTech and today we're going to be taking a look at my Amazon pickups from Black Friday. To start out guys, we do have a brand new camera that's in one of these boxes, um, which I believe is the bigger one. And I'm very excited to bring it to the channel because uh, it's going to help grow this channel significantly. And I'm really thankful for all the support lately um, on this channel as we grow together. All right, well let's go ahead and hop in, unbox them, got my box cutter. And let's go ahead and open up the small one first. So let's see. There we go. Set that down. And in here, we have a lens. If you guys might have an idea of what camera this is now. Um, and then I also picked up just a actual really good deal on this Wi-Fi card. Uh, it's AC600. Always have customers that need one, um, and this one I think was only twelve dollars. I picked up and regularly than about thirty-five, so I had to pick that up. So that's one other thing. I didn't pick up too much, but I picked up a few things, um, and this is probably one of the biggest, uh, my favorite things, uh, because it has the big leading for this. Um, so, and I'll get more into each thing in a second once we get out the new camera. We open this up. A box did get it in a bundle, so it's not the it's not the exact same as um, as the normal packaging, I believe, um, unless they are separate packaged uh, inside. But let's see about that. There we go, and it looks like I was actually they are separate packaging, which is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so this is a really good deal I found. This deal, as you guys can see, I got two things. Um, this bundle is actually $4.99, um, which is actually the price of the camera, but it did come with one bonus accessory, which is the Video Micro from Rode. We're gonna be testing this out um, actually in a minute when I test out this camera. And then um, I will also do a full in-depth review as with everything that you see here, except, except for this I'm not gonna do a review on unless you guys want to see some uh, <laughs> Wi-Fi card reviews. Uh, but we'll, we can go ahead and check this out in a little bit. And then also in here, we got the Panasonic G7. Um, this is a camera I've been looking at for quite a while and I pulled the trigger and I am super excited to bring this to the channel. It shoots in 4K, 30 frames per second. Um, it's got some really great features and it's actually my first mirrorless camera. Um, so let's go ahead and just open it up real quick. Um, so it's got a little flap and it's got a few accessories I believe that come with it. Um, so here's like the quick start guide, manual, um, and, and I believe a driver disc for um, some kind of software. Inside opens up real nice and in here get your little nice leather strap. Uh, it says Lumix G and then also you have the other you have the body itself which is in this really nice cloth it's actually a lot lighter than I thought it would be but you see and it feels really well in this hand in the hand um, and I'm actually really excited about this um, and yeah it feels really great and then also comes with a few other accessories um, here I believe uh, is the USB connector um, and then there's also the battery which I've heard these batteries are pretty good but they're really expensive so there are a lot of third parties which I probably will check some out um, and see how if any of those work pretty well and here's the battery charger um, so I believe this is the this is also the AC uh, the AC adapter no so th this has this has the plug on it so that's cool um, and then other one other thing that's in here is the lens the, the um, lens that comes with it the kit lens and let's take a look at that so let's put this off to the side as well and I believe this is a 14 who's this 14 to 42 so yeah so it's a it's actually feels pretty good the focus rings pretty nice um, and we're gonna be testing this out real quick uh, while I go over some of the other accessories that come with it. Um, what we'll do is I'll hook up this camera um, and the kit lens, and we'll go over this lens and talk a little bit more about how I like this camera so far, and we'll also try out this Rode microphone. 
And we are back now, guys. Now on the G8, uh, G7 right now, and it looks really good. I, what I can tell right now, I do have the monitoring app right now. Looks really good. I like how how it works. I've been testing around with it, and I really enjoy it. Um, this is the on the kit lens, the 14 to 42. Uh, I believe it's a 3.5 to a 5.6 for the f-stop. So I'm I'm liking it quite a bit. Um, I'm going to be playing with it quite a bit over the next week as I start messing around uh, with some other um, diff different features so I can shoot some new reviews. Um, and I do have this other, some, one of the other things I did want to talk about was the lens choice I picked. Uh, I picked the 25mm 1.7. This is going to be an awesome B-roll um, shot as well as probably end up being, being my A-cam um, uh, A-cam and B-cam main uh, lens because this is supposed to be one of the best lenses and this one only came in at 149 uh, at the time uh, when I purchased it on Black Friday and it's normally like 250 which is a really great deal and I'm really excited about it. This deal for this camera came with a Rode uh, Video Micro and uh, what I've been able to test a little bit sounds really great. Um, and I'm super glad I was able to get that deal for about $497, $499. Um, I will make sure if that deal is still going to have that in the description down below for you guys. If not, I'll find the best deal with the G7, uh, their combo, as well as just the separate G7 to see what's the best deal for you guys. Also, I'll have um, this lens in there too. Um, and I will be testing that lens out over the next few weeks. And it will be a lot of fun. Alright guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my Black Friday pickups. I did pick up a few other things, but those aren't going to come in for quite a while. So once those come in, I will share those with you. Uh, and look out for a ton of new reviews with this brand new camera. Uh, everything's going to be a 4K now, which is going to be great. Uh, it's a native 4K instead of an upscale. I'm super glad I was fortunate enough to be able to pick up this camera. And I will see you guys in the next video.